Hello, welcome to Primary Coast Terminology Tuesday, where I help cover some of the terms and terminology that can be confusing to new firearms owners. Um, that's kind of a, a second part of the sh uh, episode that I did last week. I'm going to cover the carry positions. So last week we talked about inside the waistband and outside the waistband. Um, if the, that makes sense to you, continue watching. If you don't know what those terms mean, um, you may want to go back to our last Terminology Tuesday and, and take a, a look at that. Um, so when we carry a gun, the general way that people describe that is with a clock face. So you being straight ahead of me, kind of my center line, my belly button, this is our um, 12 o'clock position. Or our, our zero position. 12 o'clock, same thing. So um, anything from there to that one or two um, is what most people refer to as appendix carry. So um, having the gun kind of up here, maybe over to the two, almost three o'clock, would be what they call appendix carry. Uh, once you get much past two, three o'clock, you get into hip carry, or strong side hip typically. Um, this would be more of a strong side hip, and um, kind of at our three o'clock. Once you get much past that, you start to get into behind the hip carry, which is the four and five. Uh, the, the appendix and the behind the hip carry are probably the two most common carry methods. Uh, at the hip, right on the hip is more of an outside the waistband, less people carry inside because um, the gun sticks out a lot more. In front and behind, your natural body and the way your clothes hangs tends to hide that a little bit better. As you get much past the five, and back into the six, you get what is known as small of back carry. Um, all of these carry positions have pros and cons to them. Um, I won't go into a lot of those. I will say that um, the small of back carry is, is not recommended by most um, professionals. The big reason for that uh, is twofold. One, it's right on your spine there. If you were to fall, slip, or something and land, you've got a really hard kind of angular metal object that is digging into your spine, which can certainly create a big issue. The other issue is um, the draw is a lot longer. I have to reach back and then come back around. It's really easy to sweep yourself, and it's also really easy for um, someone, if you were you know, drawing in a self-defense situation, to grab that. And it's also easier for someone to grab it from behind you if they see it. Then it's, it's easier for other people to get to the gun than it is for you. So, um, I'll give a caveat to that. Appendix, uh, strong side hip, behind the hip, those all are great for certain situations, certain dresses, certain, um, you know, the big thing is know why you carry where you carry. Get some training on the proper and safe way to do that, and um, and then practice with it. So, um, and then all that carries over to your other side when you get past the 6 o'clock. Um, that would be your weak side. Or if you're left-handed, you know, the clock would then kind of go the other direction. Um, so I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, uh, send us a message, uh, email, something like that. We'd love to help you out. We hope you have a great day.